हेलो दे पीपल सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट 2005 एग्जाम इट्स फ्रॉम द टॉपिक ऑफ आईओ प्रोग्राम आईओ वर्सेस इंटरप ड्रिवन आईओ लेट मी रीड आउट द स्टेटमेंट देन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन अ डिवाइस विद डेटा ट्रांसफर रेट 10 केबी पर सेकंड इज कनेक्टेड टू अ सीपीयू डेटा इज ट्रांसफर्ड बाइट वाइज लेट द इंटरप ओवरहेड बी 4 माइक्रो सेकंड्स the byte transfer time between device interface register and cpu or memory is negligible what is the minimum performance gain of operating the device under interrupt mode over operating it under program controlled mode okay so you are required to find out the performance gain of using interrupt driven io over the programmed io you very well know that interrupt driven io will be faster than using programmed io because in interrupt driven io cpu is not constantly checking the device for some data instead device will inform that yeah i have some data ready let's discuss both of them for a minute or so in programmed io what happens is we write a specialized program which is executed on the cpu just for checking if some data is prepared by the io device or not io device has these two registers the data ready register as well as the data register whenever some data is ready with this device it will be placed in the data register and it will set this flag this flag will be made one cpu constantly checks this flag is there some data is there some data and so on will just loop over one line and that line is just for checking this flag okay whenever this flag is on cpu will fetch that byte and it will again start checking so cpu is not actually executing some useful program instead it's just uh, taking care of transferring data from io device which is not very efficient we actually want to execute our programs on the cpu we don't want to just keep on transferring data from io devices so a better scheme is letting the io device inform cpu whenever it has some data okay this one will be very efficient because io devices are very slower as compared to cpu cpu might check like for a thousand times uh, say this device has prepared some one byte of data cpu has fetched it now before it prepares the second byte cpu might inquire 1000 times also maybe even more than 1000 that is some data ready so this one is inefficient we prefer this one let's find out the performance gain you very well know that performance gain is time divided uh, time taken by old design divided by time taken by latest design okay so let's calculate this time taken by old design or time taken by programmed io the device that we are using has a transfer rate of 10 kb per second this might be per second so let's calculate what is the time taken for transferring one byte 10 kb take 1 second 1 byte will take 1 second divided by 10k this will be 10 raised to the power 4 okay because k is 10 raised to the power 3 don't take k as 2 raised to the power 10 even though values are almost equal but uh, this is actually bandwidth so here in bandwidth you very well know that k is 10 raised to the power 3 this is not amount of data this is bandwidth which means we are talking about amount of data per unit time so in that case k is 10 raised to the power 3 so this much time is required for transferring one byte of data it will be 0.1 millisecond okay so 0.1 millisecond is uh, after every 0.1 millisecond this device prepares a byte of data for that 1 millisecond cpu will constantly keep on asking is a byte ready is a byte ready and so on 
but whenever after one point uh, one millisecond the byte is actually ready, there is no delay in transferring it. Uh, in question, it's mentioned that. the byte transfer time between device interface register and cpu or memory is negligible so that means this much time is taken by the device to prepare the byte after uh, this byte or data is prepared for transferring the time taken is negligible okay now let's talk about this one in this what happens is whenever the byte is being prepared the cpu is doing some useful work cpu is executing its own programs so that time is not actually wa uh, wasted but when this byte is ready this device will send an interrupt to cpu saying that hey some uh, i've prepared this byte you can just fetch it whenever cpu gets this interrupt the interrupt signal is high cpu will just change the value of program counter and jump to a ISR, which is interrupt service routine. The code that is necessary for fetching this byte will be loaded. Okay. That takes four microseconds. Look, in this case, entire 0.1 milliseconds, the CPU was just inquiring for uh, data. But in this case, CPU is only spending this much time after that byte is ready for doing the necessary uh, configurations. That means changing the value of program counter and making it point to some ISR starting. Okay, that means uh, after that ISR begins, the data transfer time is negligible. That is given in question. So here CPU is spending this much time. And in this case, CPU is spending four microseconds only. Okay. So you can just divide both of them and get the performance gain. So time taken by old design is 0 0.1 milliseconds by time taken by new design is 4 microseconds. Let's convert this milliseconds into microseconds. This will be 100 microseconds divided by 4 microseconds. You can see that performance gain is 25. Okay, so answer to this question is 25. So just to recapitulate, in this case, CPU is continuously doing some useful work and only when byte is ready, 4 microseconds time will be taken to initiate the data transfer. Actual data transfer won't take any time. So here, the total time wasted in transferring this byte will be 4 microseconds. But here CPU is not doing any useful work at all. It is just continuously checking for this register. Okay. And for the entire time that is taken by the IO device to prepare a byte, CPU will be just checking it. That means it will be wasting this entire time. Okay. After that, you can say that no time is taken in actual transfer of data. So you can just divide both of them and the answer is 25. Thank you very much.